Everyone who is coming into the situation to bring a child into the world has a totally unique and different set of circumstances. When you're about to have a baby as a person of color, you're also traumatized by the fact that you're more likely to die or that your baby's more likely to die or have a problem. The disparities that I see in black and brown indigenous communities and non-gender conforming communities are communities around birthing have been fragmented. Folks are just not able to access care. We have a trust mistrust relationship with care providers. There are many wonderful providers that really want to give more and really care about their patients. Something that we need to do in our system is figure out how we can individualize care, how we can have more shared decision making. Our organization is about providing resources, about training more professionals, training more people that look like me, because we do know that we need more birth workers of color to kind of be able to match the population that's suffering the most in the healthcare system. Before I was actually diagnosed with postpartum depression, I realized that something was off because as a stand-up comedian, I lost my sense of humor. How I saw the world was just gray. Postpartum depression feels isolating. It feels hopeless. I just remember not sleeping. Every time my daughter would breathe or move in the bassinet, it was like the anxiety was immediate. You start to question yourself. I just think that a lot of other mothers must feel the same way. It was the team of people that came to my rescue when I would just gotten out of the psychiatric hospital. It was my therapist, my mom, and my cousins came, my husband was here. There's so much joy in being a mom now that I still have a lot of guilt about how I felt initially that I'm still working through. We need to first be open and transparent about how we felt about being a mom when we first became a mom. If people start talking about it more, we can start to prevent it sooner. With my first pregnancy, I was nervous. I didn't know what was gonna happen. My midwife told me what was gonna happen step by step. I was still nervous, but it made me feel better. Our women have the lowest C-section rate in California at Sutter Davis Hospital. Women are treated as full human beings. We do limited interventions. We do high-touch, low-tech births. We don't do anything unless there's a real medical need for it. We have patients who seek us out because of those C-section rates. That data is now public knowledge. I kept going back to this team with my pregnancies because they're really respectful on time with my appointments. They communicate with each other, with me, with my family. It turns out that the care that women are wanting actually is the very best evidence-based care. Women really do know what's best for them. Since the beginning of time, we've always needed help birthing our children. We need a tribe and we need a community to give us support. I really, truly believe that we were never meant to do this alone.